This is a very short play based on a true life story. Mine. <laughs> I'm Duke Garen. <coughs> I am Prince Luke. And I am Baroness Isabella. And I am Baron Angelo. And this is... The Betrayal. The betrayal. <laughs> Angelo! Ho! Oh. Hail to your lordship, welcome! Baron Angelo, oh, do I forget myself? Oh, the same, my lord, and your friend and servant ever. Prince Luke, what an honor to be here to greet you. Angelo, I was unaware of your company. <laughs> <laughs> Go to, noble prince, will you not address me? Though I was always better than you in a great many things, your father even made me a duke. Are you still mad because there is not a sport, game, or love interest? I cannot win from you. There is no shame in being second best. You, sir, have used your sacred tongue and your outrageously good features to obtain it. <laughs> Whatever you want, you defile the most beautiful women in the kingdom. You. You bring shame upon nobility, you treacherous. Ah, oh, my lord, although I am of the lowest rank in nobility here, I hope you can at least respect the peace of my home. Of course, of course, of course, of course, Angelo. But, but on my name, you should have been made a duke or a marquis. I, I implored my father, but he had been influenced. I would know such thing. Angelo, Baron Angelo is my friend, and I would never advocate against him like that. My lords. Good morrow, fair Baroness. My love, your beauty and radiance are beyond words. Yes, Angelo. The children had their morning meal. Our daughter has your habit of rising early before the cock crows. Our son, however, is more like me. He sleeps till the cock will crow no more. Your daughter. Your daughter has her her mother's beauty and and her. Oh, her father's eyes. <laughs> but your son has his mother's smile and the most beautiful eyes and pale skin. Uh, Angelo, my, my father the king wishes to see an accounting of the collection of taxes from his properties on the countryside. I shall prepare a report. Shall we, and deliver it with the account, with the collection to his majesty. Shall we go to your antechamber and discuss the details? Indeed. My love, I will work for about an hour and then leave soon thereafter. My friend, my lord, my home is yours. Make yourself comfortable. There is plenty of food and drink. I gave the servants leave to spend time with their families, but Isabella's here and she can bring you anything that you want. I am well, my good friend. I am happy to be here. I like the countryside. I am happy to be alive. Thanks to you. You saved my life in that war with Spain. Yes, 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 yes. Had it not been for your, your bravery and your loyalty to the crown, we both would have died, my lords. What I did in the war was first and foremost out of my loyalty to my friends, to both of you. I don't like war. I fought out of obligation, my duty to the crown. I only did with you what you would have done for me, right? Angelo? Yes, my sweet. The king awaits your reports. Oh, yes. But please bring with you the fabrics, the fine fabrics I had woven for Her Majesty the Queen as well. Yes, let us attend to my father's things and my mother's. You are ravishing, my goddess of beauty. Ah, must you mention your features? Of what? <laughs> you know the boy is yours. He's your son. Angelo's heritage is Sicilian and Spanish. But the boy has your pale skin and Irish eyes. Why did my son inherit your evil beauty? <laughs> my blood is superior to that of Angelo's. <laughs> No matter. I still can't believe you married Angelo, so many handsome men in the kingdom, and you married him. You could have been happy just being with me. I was with you, along with hundreds of the most beautiful women of the kingdom. I was in love with Prince Luke, and he was in love with me. Yes, but you gave in to me. <laughs> so much with saving yourself for Luke. I could have been a princess, a princess! I could have had Charlize. <laughs> I could have her 
too, if I want to. No! <laughs> she lives too far in a distant kingdom for you to travel. Luke, on the other hand, journeys every week just to visit with her. Women will do what women do. <laughs> the Princess Charlize, she is a most fortunate girl. Yes, but while you were engaged to Luke, you chose to cheat on him with me. <laughs> you are no different from my other women. You cannot resist my impeccable fist. <laughs> Don't speak with me this way. I am a baroness. You will address me properly. Address you proper? <laughs> you were not so self-righteous the other night. <laughs> <laughs> On the hundreds of nights, Angelo was gone and I came over to... Came over? <laughs> to what? Uh, <laughs> Luke, uh, my lord. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Angelo has left to meet with my parents. He is loyal to his friends. He is loyal to his wife. He told me to tell you that he left the monthly living allowance with your parents. Oh, he is such a saint. A good man, Angelo is. I don't deserve to be his wife. Well, why do you speak this way? Have you cheated on him like you did on me? <laughs> don't be preposterous. <laughs> No, what were you about to say? Whatever do you mean? Mm. You come over to Angelo's house to discuss business when Angelo is away. Why are you spending time with Isabella, the wife of the man who saved your life? Do not question me. Angelo is my friend. I have always protected him from the bullies of the kingdom. As? Did I? Yes, until he became a master archer and s and swordsman, Navy Seal, Airborne Ranger, Maroon Delta Force Commander, Master Barbecue, Lord of the Dance. <laughs> but I was always his friend. Of course, he is smaller, weaker, slower, and his looks are kind of you know. And Don't you dare say anything! Appearances aren't everything. Angelo is a good, good man. Oh, would you two just please shut up! <laughs> Look, Angelo loves you. He deserves your respect. And I have yet to forget the indiscretion that you did against me. Darren, my father, his majesty, the king awaits your reports on your diplomatic travels, along with all of his other kingly business, and your dalliances and trysts with other princesses. <laughs> he shall have my report. Prince Luke, do not ruin Angelo's happiness by telling him of your suspicions. You have seen nothing. You know nothing. You've heard nothing. That is the truth, correct? Is it not the truth? I am loyal to the king. I am loyal to the crown. Angelo has my respect. I am concerned with his happiness. I feel the same. For others? But for yourself. As much as you truthfully did before the war. That, that, sir, is what? History. Yes. It is dead, buried history. The truth, correct? Do we have an understanding, my lord? I shall keep Angelo's happiness in mind. I trust you will, noble prince. I trust you will. What was all that? During the war, Prince Luke was afraid to lead his elite royal troops into a certain battle. He knew there was an ambush. Oh. So he assigned Angelo to lead the attack. He said Angelo was a lowly lieutenant of common appearance, and he thought it better that Angelo should die than him. <laughs> Angelo led the attack, and all his troops were killed, except he only survived by hiding among the bodies of his dead men. Oh. The next day, Luke and I led an attack, expecting an easy victory over the weakened Spanish. But Spanish reinforcements arrived, 
and both Luke and I were seriously wounded, Angelo came out of hiding and dragged us both to safety. Luke and I. Whoa! Does Angelo know all this? No. Nor will he ever know. Luke will say nothing. And neither will we. At least the girl is Angelo's daughter, though the boy is not his son. Enough of this talk. Let us to bed. I want to amaze you. <laughs> you will amaze me for just a few minutes. I feel amazing in heavenly minutes. <laughs> Angelo may not look like you or Luke, but he knows how to love a woman. How to please a woman. He loves with such intensity, such passion, for as long as I wish. What are you saying? Angelo is nothing compared to me. Surely you don't love him like you love me. I may not love him, but he satisfies me. Like no man ever, ever has. More than Luke, more than you. A million times more. And that he shall always know.